Now then, YouTube, I am the top man. Welcome back to HeroCraft. I think we're in episode 14 now, but I can't be too sure of exactly where we are. Now, I'm having a problem where the, lo the world just is not loading up around me properly. Uh, when I press escape, though, you can see stuff going on in the background and starting to pop up places. But I've no idea why it's not actually doing it for me properly. So, off camera, I've been uh, doing my little bits of research here. And uh, I've managed to find a few things, which is always good. So we've got the Vis Purifier, which is hard, the Totem of Dawn, which is easy, and the Eldritch Stone, which is moderate. So that's uh, one Eldritch Research and two Forbidden Researches. The Totem of Dawn is really, really good, and I'll certainly be wanting that, so I'm going to be sticking, in that, th sticking that in there first. Really, really happy in my last episode that I managed to get everything sorted with that. Um, so I'm going to look at doing something over there uh, and getting some sort of forestry, build craft kind of power going on over there. But let me just get myself sorted for this episode and uh, and I'll be back. But first, before I actually get into build craft power uh, per se, what I'm going to do is create a little bit of an auto crafting system and what better place to put it than where I've been mining. I've blocked off the little strip mines that I've done. Uh, I've blocked off that little bit of an area as well there. And what better place to put it than here? I mean, this is pretty much exactly where I need it to be. Um, so, without further ado, let's go back and uh, go back upstairs over here and see if we can get ourselves another couple of them teleport pipes because I'm going to need a couple of them um, to take things from my system and obviously put them back into my system. I believe they're in tools unless the last two item teleport pipes but that's fine. I am going to need some automatic crafting tables but for the minute let me just put these in there because I am going to need some wood for this. I've probably got plenty of wood in there, but that's... never mind. Um, you know what would be a good idea? I'm just going to get rid of this stone here. Oh well. Uh, and I'm going to put an actual crafting table just in there. Whoa. There we are. And then I, you know, I can just pick stuff out of my chests and then go to this crafting table here. So that's very nice indeed. What I'm going to do is create four wooden gears. Um, and I'm obviously going to create a crafting table. Now I'm going to need a lot of these automatic crafting tables. So what's the first thing I'm going to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to craft is how to actually teach my system, you know, if you put wood in, you will get wooden planks out. So, I've got wood, and I've got wood, and I've got automatic crafting tables, I've got a basic logistics pipe, I've got a couple of stone transport pipes, but I'm probably going to want quite a bit more than that. Cobblestone transport pipes, so I'll use cobblestone transport pipes, I don't see any reason why not to. on a glass. Oh dear. That's never good, is it? I can't believe I haven't actually taught my table about the glass either. I don't know. Let's pull a bit of sand out and then uh, go and get it uh, smelted up. There's the glass. I'm going to teach my system... Uh, my Sorry, I'm going to teach my table about glass. Thank you, because I'm going to need some of that. Uh, let's put one of them in there and get some glass out. Thank you very much. A wonderful system. And let's get some cobblestone covers there. Uh, some cobblestone pipes. And let's put the rest in there. Apart from, of course, I want one of them. And I want four of them. Because that's exactly what they're going to be turning into. So join me down there when uh, when I've got everything sorted. Firstly, we are going to want to have an, uh, a little teleport pipe up here for our items to go down there. So just popping that there, getting into it, and having a look, see what we've got for you. There's one, two, three, and then there's four. I think we're going to use four as auto-crafting. 
Brilliant stuff. I'm going to add that in there. I'm going to set it to true, obviously, because it has to accept them in. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to cover everything up. That should be fine. No worries there. And then going down here into the automatic crafting area, which is going to be here, what I'm going to do is, if the tables are going to be along here, I'm going to want it up there. So brilliant. Thank you very much. I'm going to shove that just there. Um, give me that please because you're going to want to move in a minute I'm going to want my cobblestone transport pipes basic logistic pipe there um, I think I'm just going to put the first one on the top there and of course I'm going to say that one wood equals four wooden planks and of course I haven't got the right kind of thing that I need here. I don't want just a basic logistics pipe and you know incidentally I am going to have to need uh, going to make more of these which I'll do off camera very soon but um, I want to go into my precious stuff I'm going to grab a couple of pieces of glowstone dust I'm going to go into my crafting table just there basic logistics pipe with two glowstone dust next to it makes a crafting logistics pipe. Now putting that on the front of the automatic crafting table um, and then using my wrench here, my trusty wrench, to to teach it, and I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Let's get the crafting logistics pipe attached to this here. Did I actually put? I didn't put it on there. Let's get our auto crafting true, so it's all nice and 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 connected with each other. That's brilliant. We go into our our wrench here, and we right click on the crafting logistics pipe. You'll see it inputs. Uh, output. If we import, basically what that's going to do is import the recipe from the attached um, automatic cr crafting the attached automatic crafting table here. And uh, you know, I'm going to go on to make another one, which is going to be how to teach the crafting table how to make sticks from the wood. And then I'm going to do another one on how to make it, uh, how to teach it wooden gears, because gears are a pain in the ass. And that's one of the first things I like to get automatically crafted. So I'm going to get things ready for you know expanding this auto crafting system, and I'll be back once I'm in a good position to do so. There we are. Just crafted myself up eight more basic logistics pipes using this recipe. Uh, it is very expensive, but I do love the uh, logistics pipes mod. It is without a doubt one of my favorites, my most favorite mods that I've ever played. It's just brilliant, absolute brilliant now how it works. Anyway, now I've got the basic logistics pipes, I'm going to want to create myself some uh, some crafting logistics pipes. I'm probably going to want four of these, so let's get that sorted. There we are. Put the glowstone back. Um, I'll keep the basic logistics pipes on me at the minute, I think that would be a good idea. However, I am going to want to craft myself some more wooden gears and I think I'm gonna want more than that in fact so I'm gonna want hmm I'm gonna want a lot of them to be honest for what I want to do. Thirteen wooden gears Wow there's a lot of stuff going on there. This will make four automatic crafting tables. Oh no, I'll make three. I lie. Um, okay, well that's that's fine. Um, a crafting table and some wooden gears. Good. Right, I'm going to keep that there actually for the minute. Um, what I will do is go back downstairs now and start putting other things and bits and bobs in my system here. I've got enough wood there, that's good. It's going over here. Automatic crafting table, just put it there with a uh, crafting logistics pipe. And in here, like I said, I'm going to teach our system how to make sticks. Very important there. Important resource into making uh, gears, another automatic crafting table with another uh, crafting logistics pipe. We're then going to teach the table 
how to make wooden gears brilliant stuff there and then the last one is another important part going forward and that is teaching the table how to make an automatic crafting table now you're probably thinking hang on a minute our system doesn't know how to make a crafting table and you'd be right you would be right so I'm gonna to have to create myself another automatic crafting table and I'll be back in just a second I'm back with the automatic crafting table in hand let's go and stick this on there like this and then get this learned to the system there's a crafting table going forwards now I can make wooden gears I can make automatic crafting tables at the touch of a button but we're going to need something to help us actually do that and there is a specific logistics pipe for the uh, for that job and that is the request logistics pipe it's very expensive a couple of gold gears and a basic logistics pipe makes the request logistics pipe but it's definitely something we will want uh, going forwards so that we have access to our automatic crafting table otherwise what would be the point um, you will notice that I'm, you know, I'm learning these as we're going along here. I'm not actually looking at them. You know, I'm just going to, I'm looking at. The, I'll look at them when we're finished. Um, but a request logistics pipe is going to be very, very simple to be able to get us. Let's go and make some gears. We're going to need two of them, of course. Two wooden ones. Two stone ones. Two iron ones. And we're running out of gold here, I can see. I have to go mining again at some stage soon. And there's two golden gears. We've got the basic logistics pipe there. That's two golden gears, one basic logistics pipe. There is our request logistics pipe. Now, I may want to make another one in the future for down whilst I'm in the crafting area, but I think I'll want one up here, to be honest. So, how am I going to do this? Well, that is a good question. I think the best way to do this is to leave it with me and I'll be back. Right, well here goes, here is my idea. I'll need a basic logistics pipe because I've knocked this off here but I'm going to create a junction so you'll want a basic logistics pipe there which incidentally this is still getting, the stuff is still getting pumped out of here. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, um, going up here I'm going to want normal pipes going up and there and I'm going to want to put the uh, that back in there, just like that. And then I'm going to go back inside, not into my thing there. I'm just going to plonk that right. That is a request logistics, yeah, right there. Um, so yeah, I have a good view of outside from here, but that's fine. But what I want to do now is have a test. A wrench on a request logistics pipe will work. Um, if you were using, say for example, any other logistics pipe that's in the network, you could have um, the rec not what it was it called. Oh, there's a tool that you can use. I think it's like the remote orderer or something like that, and you can you can use that on any other logistics pipe that's in the network. But anyway, a wrench will do. So a wrench here, you can see we've got, we've got, we can now access all our items in our chest. Brilliant. But can we uh, access our craft and logistics network? Yes, we can. And we can also get ourselves water cans, cans, you know, from the bog earth over there. And you can see here we can get wooden planks, uh, a crafting table, and sticks, but no automatic crafting table. Why not? Let's have a quick gander and see what's going on down here. That is very interesting indeed. Why can we not get an automatic crafting table? Did I not? I didn't import it, that was why. Very good. See, that's why we uh, have a look to see if everything's working. Brilliant. Well, uh, let's get into back into our little... Oh, we seem to have finished this one as well.
Brilliant, thank you. Uh, a bit of lag going on, I, I apologise for that. I've been doing a quite a bit of recording because I need to catch up after my live stream. So now we can see we've got some automatic crafting tables as well in there which is going to help us tons going forwards. Now we've got a way to automatically craft automatic crafting tables so I don't have to keep you know doing them myself. Strange that I can't get gears. Very strange. Did I not... <sighs> you know what, it is late. It is late, guys. It's like half two in the morning. Um, I could right have not imported them. And I haven't, of course. Wow. Epic failure on my behalf right there. Unbelievable. So, that's good going forwards because now we've got a way to automatically craft gears. Um, I am going to want another automatic crafting table, so let's see if this works. Oh, we're missing a wood, which is brilliant. You know what? I'm going to chop down that little piece of uh, birch wood that we've got over there, and I'm going to put it in the chair in the automatic sorting system, should I say? And then uh, we'll we'll give it a test. Here we are, stocked up on wood and saplings. Over there, you can see I've uh, cut it down, replanted the whole area, uh, which is always good. Apparently, we have no uh, nowhere for silver. That's fine. I'll sort that out soon. Put that in there, that's going to get auto sorted out as you can see. Uh, wooden planks in there, and uh, some iron that will get sorted, surely. Um, not so sure about glass, so let's keep one on me and put the rest in there. It looks like iron's not getting sorted out either. Uh, cobble should get sorted out. Is it? Yes, it is. Um, let's put glass in there. Oh, we do have a place for glass, it's fair enough. Apparently we don't have a place for iron or silver, so there we have them sorted out now. And we've got what we need to be able to do what we're going to do next. Um, going forwards here, we're going to want an automatic crafting table, which has request been successful here. So wait for that to spit out, aren't we? Just to test the whole system is definitely working. There it is, brilliant stuff. We're also going to want um, one of the wooden gears. Request has been successful. How fast is it going to be? Right there. Ready and waiting. Can you tell exactly what I'm going to do yet? That's right, I'm going to teach my system how to do um, stone gears because we're going to be using them a lot as well. So, basic logistics pipe with a glowstone either side, another crafting logistics pipe. Let's go back downstairs into our little auto crafting area and add to it this. This time hopefully remembering to uh, import the recipe. Stone gear, brilliant stuff. Where's my crafting logistics pipe? Is there. Import the recipe please. So now our system knows about stone gears. Now going forwards we are going to need peat fired engines which are slightly different than usual ones and to be honest I actually do want this to be auto crafted because I'm going to use the peat fired engines a lot as we are going forwards so using my last basic logistics pipe you can see there I'm going to create another crafting logistics pipe um, automatic crafting table. I'm going to need a stone gear. I'm going to need copper. Brilliant. I'm going to be using a lot of these as we're going forwards. I'm also probably going to want to automatically craft myself pistons because I hate doing pistons. They're so annoying. Um, let's put that on there. And then we have copper gears. That's going to be awesome going forwards. Now I don't have to create them. Coming up here, pistons are a big part of engines, as you will know. So I'm probably going to want to create myself some more. Um, let's see how much, how many diamonds we got. Oh, plenty of diamonds. Plenty of diamonds. Let's make that into gold, please. 
going to want some of that because we're going to want to create ourselves some more in the way of basic logistics pipes. So I'll be back once I've done that. Just requested these stone gears here, which is brilliant. Don't have to do that anymore. But I do have to do iron gears and golden gears just for the moment until I get a little bit more uh, resources. Two golden gears there. I've forgotten my uh, diamond transport pipes, of course. Got a few of these left, so that's always good. Them in the middle, golden gears either side. Them there. Oops. And them on the corners. Brilliant. Basic logistics pipes. Very nice indeed. I'm going to want to make some automatic crafting thingies. Some crafting logistics pipes, that's the word. So there we have that. And I'm going to want to actually get myself an automatic crafting table. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. I'm going to want, as well as I'm waiting for this, is one piece of iron, a piece of redstone, a... Um, one piece of that to craft into normal wood and I'm going to want some cobblestone as well so let's get back down into our automatic crafting area and craft ourselves up some pistons why not why why not let's put that on there that across there redstone there iron there pistons brilliant stuff automatic crafting um, pipe on there, import that, lovely stuff. Now I don't have to worry about peat-fired engines. Not at all. I can just sit back and relax. I can, ex you know, I can request myself pistons, I can request myself the gears, I have the glass, and I have the copper needed to make the peat-fired engines. Let's get nine of them. Let's whip in here and get six copper gears. Let's whip in here and get three pistons. Everything request successful. It's just a case of waiting for everything to pop out. And I may as well even get glass. While I'm here, I might as well. Then I don't have to move whatsoever. Because then I can grab my philosopher's stone, stand here with C, Pistons there, copper gears either side, that there, that there, there is peat fired engines. And that is the start of my build craft power. Now where do I want to put this power? That is a very, very good question. And where, where better than my little industrial district that we've got going over here? Where better to put it than here? It's attached to my network. It can then request uh, peat once uh, once I've started, you know, accepting it from over there. It can request peat right from this request logistics pipe here. Um, I think what I'm going to do actually is change this around just slightly. Let me just get this uh, cobblestone pipe just here. And I think what I'm going to do is bring that along here like that. Item teleport pipe. Remember, this is to my um, bog to hub. Remember? Brilliant stuff. And what I'm going to do is actually get a basic logistics pipe right on there and carry that on forwards to where my peat fired engines are going to be. So let me just get rid of all these bits of uh, annoying trees everywhere. I will need to teach my automatic crafting system about every type of wood. I've got to tell you that. Uh, I've got to tell you that, guys. So let's just get rid of all this first. Brilliant stuff. And let's just flatten this little area out so it's all nice and ready for the peat-fired engines. And I'm going to want them just there. Why not? I'm going to then want to create myself what's called wooden conductive pipes. 
which are there, which is a wooden transport pipe with a redstone on top. So let me meet you back in there and I'll get everything sorted. I just so happen to have six wooden transport pipes in my chest, so I've grabbed three of them. I'm just going to grab three of this redstone here. I'm going to combine these to make myself, of course, the wooden conductive pipes. Three of them. Um, I'm also going to want some golden conductive pipes. Now you can have normal conductive pipes, but seriously, it's not a good idea. You lose a lot of power uh, over a certain amount. So the golden pipes are the best ones to have, and that's obviously a golden transport pipe with redstone on it. So let's get uh, some uh, golden transport pipes to start with. Two of them there, them there. Plenty of uh, golden transport pipes there, going forwards. Good stuff. That's exactly what we are going to need. Now let's uh, go back over to our little industrial area. And you'll see our little peat-fired engines just chilling out there. Now the good thing about peat-fired engines is they don't need cooling down. And that's exactly why I want you to go straight for peat-fired engines rather than using the normal engines. So you've got to have this wooden conductive pipe above it first before attempting to turn it with a wrench. Otherwise it's just going to turn sideways and they're not actually going to face upwards like that. So there we have it, our first little engine block. But of course, we need somewhere for our power to go. Where do you think our power is going to go? Yes, that's right. It's going to go over to our little bog farm that we've got going over there. Um, now I could use a big massive long line of golden transport conductive pipes uh, over towards there. That would be very, very inefficient. So, going back, we need to make ourselves some more teleport pipes. And I've got this little weird thing going on again. I don't know why that is. It's so annoying. It creates lag as well. So I'm just going to put do that for just a second because it then loads up the world in the background. Um, so what do we need to make that? Well, we need diamond gears, obviously. Um, so going into here, we can, of course, make uh, stone gears this way. So I'm going to grab that there. It looks like we're running out of iron ingots here, and it looks like we're going to run out of diamonds, maybe, which is interesting. So let's do that, change it into uh, gold. Let's do that, change half of it into iron. So we should be okay. Should be fine now. Right get the stone gears there, sorry that's the wrong thing stone gears, iron ingots right on the outside you've seen me craft these plenty of times before so you should know exactly what I'm doing and then I need a piece of glass glass in the middle of two diamond gears is an item teleport pipe. Now the good thing about these is they do actually work um, as teleport pipes for, for power as well. You just have to put a redstone above them and then you've got power teleport pipes. Brilliant stuff. Now we're going to need these and I'm probably going to want some more going forwards but I think this will do just for the moment. So without further ado let us put that on the end of there, much like that. Not doing anything at the minute, but that's fine. And let us go over here, get rid of this. Whoa, that's like really fast. There we are. And put the power teleport pipe probably here. I think that's a great idea, because then I can do that. And that is awesome. Clicking on this, go to uh, 1, I can call it um, bog power add receive true. Of course, nothing is turned on at the minute, so nothing's going to happen. Ah, 
I knew this was going to be a problem. It's an easy fix, and I'll sort that out um, right now, actually. Oh, stop it. Could just go along here like this and put them like that. That should be fine. And then it'll stop them from freezing over them. Which is pretty annoying, I've got to tell you, but uh, that's the way of it. That's Minecraft physics for you. I'm going to do that off camera anyway. You don't want to see me do that, to be honest. Right, let's go back over to our little system that we've got going on over here. I know you guys are wanting to see this working before the end of this episode. Well, we may slash may not be able to get that done, but we will see. Bog power, please receive true. So now we've got a place, you know, that we can make power. We can transport the power over there. But of course, we need peat to be able to make this work. Now, there's a few little pipes that I'm going to need on the front of here to keep this stocked up with peat at all times. But I'll get there in just a second. So how am I going to do this? Well, I'm going to get some lapis. Six pieces, to be precise. I'm going to go into here, I'm going to put three basic logistics pipes with lapis on either side. That makes the supplier logistics pipes. Now that is exactly what I'm going to need to keep these all stocked up with peat. And uh, we don't have any peat in the system at the minute, so it's going to uh, request peat and not be able to, to get peat. So... A uh, bit of a problem there, isn't there? So clicking on here, items to keep stocked. Uh, the partial request is going to be yes. There is nothing to keep stocked yet because, of course, we haven't got anything to to keep stocked. So let's connect this up uh, with this here. Brilliant stuff. Everything's nice and green and connected. Great stuff. I may wind up, you know, putting all that kind of pipe work under the ground, maybe, just to make it look a little bit... Uh, a little bit less, you know, bad. Um, and probably not a good idea actually that I took out the uh, the steam engine. Hmm. Just thinking about how. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I promise. That's good for the minute. I'm going to take that out and I'm going to put that there. Um, of course, there's no pipes connected to this at the minute. Um, that's going to require bog earth. I'm going to knock that off there. Basic logistics pipe right there. And I'm probably going to put that right there. Should I? Or does that need a basic logistics pipe, really? Hmm, it's very interesting. Oops, sorry. I think I'm going to put the basic logistics pipe right there, actually. Could that be a good idea. It is attached. I can see it being attached. That's good. Because nothing's going to go down there anyway, because it's going to go into there, into the top, because that's what's asking for it. So I think everything else is going to come out of the side there, and I think, where is that? Good stuff. And I'm just going to bugger off over there and get myself some coal. I'm back. I also slept through the night because that was annoying me, or being dark like that. I've only got one piece because that's really all I'm going to need. Once I've got a good surplus, maybe even three, maybe four bits of peat, um, I think I should be okay. So let's start this up and uh, let's see exactly what happens. This should be sucked out and then go to the default route on this uh, network, which of course is my input chest. That's what should happen. And there's the peat. It's gone through my teleport pipe, so that's a good news. So let's go and find, you can see there, of course, that it's all going to be sorted there. What should happen is out of this tra this teleport pipe as well should come bog earth. Bog earth should find its way into here um, eventually when you know when I've got the power going to this as well. But for the minute, it's just going to uh, you know turn it all into into uh, dirt like that. I'm really disappointed that uh, that has happened. Never mind. Like I said, I'll sort it out off camera. I, can't, I don't want to do it off, on camera because that's just boring. So let's go over to our input chest over here. Uh, one piece of coal over there is not going to make the engine blow up, so I've got no worries there. You can see my house has totally disappeared. If I stay still, or if I, even if I go closer, it might turn up. 
but most of it is gone until I'm right next to it. It's really annoying as that, fellas, I've got to tell you. I don't know why that's happening. I have, st I have stopped and restarted Minecraft, but it's still doing it. So I can't really do much about it. Um, yeah, default route, and there's the peat. Brilliant stuff. So, what I am going to want to do is leave one piece in there and take the rest with me. Um, the excess peat, what I would like to do is go into here. That's where I want all the peat to eventually go to, but I want this to be supplied of course with peat. So going into here, what I'm going to do is grab my wrench. I think five pieces should be enough. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff, and I'll get over there in a second. Let me just put all the peat back into my automatic sorting system so it will get itself sorted. I think one bit of peat may have. No, it won't have because, of course, um, that's going to get sorted out now into uh, that chest because it leaves the last piece, doesn't it? So that's. Yeah, I remember now. And next, I'm going to have to have find a way of uh, powering this, which is fine. That's not a problem at all. For the minute, I can just use redstone, but uh, going forwards, I will be using red alloy wire, or whatever you want to call it. So that's run out now. Um, I want that there. Power teleport pipe, please. And this should complete my little bit of build that I've got going on here. I just need to power everything. And then go and... Um, oh, I might, I might have some red ally wire left, actually. Looking at that, of course. So we'll soon find out. Let's have a quick look. Look at that there, look. It looks weird. What the hell is going on? Oh, it's all going through the system, isn't it? I don't know why it does that. I honestly don't. Um, it's got a little bit of coal in there. Have I got any wire kicking around? If it's going to be anywhere to be in here... Oh, yes. I just need three. That's fine. And I need a lever, which I just so happen to have on me as well, which is great. And let's put that in there. Nice. Um... What else did I need? I needed something else while I was here. The redstone, the lever. I don't think. Did it, do I need anything else? I don't think I do. If I do, I'll come back. No real big deal. Oh, now I went straight into the cactus there. There we have that. With that. There we are. It's going to create the power. And because these things, of course, don't blow up, um, I can have as many as I like in a row, or a little block. You can see that the power is, you know, it's not brilliant, but these things will heat up. So, well, you can see there the heat, once they heat up to a good, uh, a good amount, um, then everything will be okay. And it won't be so you know, like that. But like I said, I can always add to these in the future. There's no real big deal there. So going up here, you can see things getting uh, sorted out now. Boggers flying in. Peats flying out. And this is a great little thing here. You can see that dirt's going to fly off over there as well and uh, and get sorted into the sorting system, which is great. So that I suppose that's a plus of having that there, actually, because, of course, then the dirt can come out, out of there as well. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff. So let's go and sort all this out. Well, I'll be sorting this out, actually, in the middle of the episodes. Not a problem. I wonder why suddenly all this is... Ah, because, of course, the power. The power's been, you know, it's keeping it water. Which is great. So, fellas, in this episode, we've achieved quite a lot, and it's gone on quite a long time, I've got to tell you. Um, possibly a little bit too long. But uh, I wanted to get this finished, I wanted you guys to see it working, uh, and then going into the future I'll get things automated a little bit more, 
I'm just going to make sure, you know, nothing's going to end up bad again. I want to make, you know, I want to get gates on certain things. I want to be able to, you know, build craft gates, that is, on certain pipes. Um, so that it turns on only when it's needed to be turned on. Um, wow, one piece of dirt shot. That's fine, I'll just use a, one of them. So anyway, guys, um, yep, the power's still going, you see, and it's not doing anything at the minute, which is slightly annoying. And like I said, in the future, I will get to using Buildcraft gates to sort all this out and automate it fully and properly. And in the future as well, I'm probably going to hide all these pipes underneath the ground. But for the minute, everything is looking great. We've, we've sorted this out, and I'm going to want to do something in the future about the byproduct of this, which is ash. Um... I think it's just going to come... No, it's not going to come out of here, is it? Of course it's not, because that's a supplier logistics pipe. What I will do is probably set something on underneath these machines that, that sorts all that out and brings it into this uh, sorting system. But anyway, guys, uh, for the minute, for the moment, this has been a very long episode of HeroCraft, and I hope you guys have enjoyed a little bit more automation. Until next time, guys, I've been the top man. Stay safe.